Hi and welcome to this introductory video about identifying edible mushrooms from mushroomexam.com. This is one of many video tutorials which can be found on the site. Um, this will just go over edible mushrooms and identifying the most common species. But the other videos on the site cover things like which are the toxic mushrooms, you know, the common mistakes made by mushroom pickers, where are the best locations to find mushrooms, you know, how to dry mushrooms and ultimately how to, you know, make mushrooms into tasty recipes. As I said, this can be all found at mushroomexam.com. Um, where you can actually go and do these introductory courses and actually certify yourself, giving you a little bit more confidence to go out and do foraying. So there are quite a few edible mushrooms. Um, if the forest was a supermarket for wild food, mushrooms would probably take, at, take up maybe 60% of the floor space. So there's quite a few uh, different ranges, but unfortunately there is a good 10% of those which will probably kill you. Before we get started, we get asked this a lot, are there any common rules behind mushroom picking? You know, do you pick the red ones? Can you pick the black ones? Well, to be honest, there aren't any foolproof rules. For when you begin, um, these you'll find that this doesn't kind of prove true at the end, well, for the for the for, for minority of cases, but it's good to think that red is bad. Uh, a blanche white is very bad. There's something called destroying angel, which is one of the most poisonous mushrooms, which is a blanche white. Brackets, which are kind of shelf um, mushrooms which grow on trees. They're completely inedible, so not worth trying. But there is something called chicken of the woods, which we cover in another lecture. And also blue, uh, I like to say it's good to chew. Um, there's something called bluets, which are very, very common, which are a very good eat. One of the most common mushrooms is a horse mushroom. It's related to the butter mushroom, which is the common one that you find in a supermarket. It's called Agaricus arvensis. Pretty difficult to say. The gills are white at the beginning, but then they turn brown later in life, kind of a chocolatey brown. Uh, an identifying uh, characteristic is it smells like anise, and it's found in stables and meadows because it usually grows on manure. One thing to keep note of is there's something called a yellow stainer, and this is commonly misidentified as the, the horse mushroom. It's called Agaricus xanthoderma. The horse mushroom looks very similar to this, and so it's a good idea to make sure you know how to differentiate between the two. The way that you differentiate is the yellow stainer smells strongly of iodoform or ink uh, and there's not that kind of char characteristic aniseed smell. One of the most um, specific identifying features is it stained strongly um, yellow. Um, if you cut the stem you can see at the bottom that it's yellow so make sure if you think it's a horse mushroom cut it and have a look if there's a yellow staining. Another very common and rather delicious mushroom is the porcini, uh, Boletus edulis. I think of edulis as eat almost, it's a nice way to kind of remember it's a bolet which you can eat. This pretty little thing uh, looks like um, a penny bun, um, which is kind of an old fashioned bit of bread, so it's kind of brown on top and looks like it's been toasted and looks really tasty. The most important characteristic when looking for this, um, it's part of a species called the bolets. The bolets don't have gills, they have spores, which you can see here. It's on the underside. If you do go out into the forest and look and start looking for mushrooms, don't be afraid to pick up mushrooms. You know, have a look at the bottom, smell them, get involved with it. But with the bolets, most common characteristic to to identify it as a bullet is that it doesn't have gills. However, be very careful. If the underside uh, is red, um, it's usually not safe to eat. Uh, there's something called the devil's bullet, which is uh, quite poisonous and causes stomach upsets. Another common mushroom is the hedgehog. Uh, hedgehog mushroom um, because its underside looks like a hedgehog. If you see there on the left you can um, see it's kind of spiky and it looks like teeth rather than 
gills, which uh, most mushrooms have. The top side of it, the cap, usually is orange, yellow, tan, never dark or red, uh, and it's very tasty. Uh, it has a sweet, nutty taste and uh, a delicious, crunchy texture. So, as I said, this is just a very short introductory lecture into identifying mushrooms. The most important thing is to avoid poisonous mushrooms and make sure you know the difference between a good one and a bad one. As I said, there's no fast and simple test to identify edible mushrooms, so you've, you've got to be careful. And that's why the course at mushroomexam.com is so important. A few rules. Um, you've got to identify every mushroom accurately, so you have to know what it is. If you think it might be this one or might be that one, you're not going to eat it. You should avoid mushrooms that are parasol shape, white gills, little brown mushrooms and false morels, which is another lecture. When you're sure it's edible, only take a small bite and wait 24 hours. You know, if you start vomiting, then you know it's not the best best thing to eat. Um, and only eat firm, fresh, undecayed mushrooms, and always cook the mushroom before you eat it. So, if you want to know more, please come to mushroomexam.com.